I don't know where to start. In some of my previous videos, I had mentioned that this was an unplanned ride. But this time, it's an unplanned video. Hi, this is the Moto Explorer, bringing to you another video to answer some of the questions that were posted in my comments. So why is this an unplanned video? I was out there testing some camera settings and the mic setup and when I reviewed the footage, I was quite pleased with what I had in hand. And it stuck me that I can answer this question, how good is the KTM 390 Adventure X in city traffic? So here are some of the questions related to the same topic. By downshifting. <laughs> yes, the 390 Adventure X requires you to work the gearbox more than most of the other motorcycles out there. It is because of its tall gearing. If you are considering buying a 390 Adventure, be prepared for frequent gear shifts. To an extent, you can make it better using a few legs or sprocketing or by just slipping the clutch. I am quite comfortable with frequent gear shifts. It is a large single cylinder. So there is some heat felt in bumper to bumper traffic and in signals. I generally switch off the engine at signals to avoid the unnecessary heat. But when you're moving at a decent speed, you're not going to feel much heat. Although the 390 Adventure comes with really wide handlebar, it is not very difficult to flip to throw in traffic given the lightweight nature of the motorcycle. But beginner riders may face some difficulty in taking U-turns primarily because of the tall stance of the motorcycle and the large-ish turning radius. With the 390 Adventure, it is better to use your knees as suspension. Just lift your bottom a little bit of the seat whenever you encounter a speed breaker or a pothole. That's it, the ride is not plush. It can be a little bit better on the SW variant because it has adjustable suspension. The adjustable suspension can be retrofit on the 390 Adventure, but I would prefer to use my saddling skills for the same. As you can see in the video, the stock headlight does a decent job of illumination in city. I have aux lights on my motorcycle, but I never use them in city. Now, this is very subjective. It depends on the riding style, the road conditions, and the traffic density. Vasuli returns me about 25 to 28 kilometers in city conditions. Adventure X is a motorcycle that is brilliant on the highway, is good off the road, handles the twisties well and does a fairly decent job in the city. But if your primary usage of your motorcycle is going to be in the city, I would recommend look elsewhere. Maybe the 1250 GS or a Honda Highness or a Splendor. That's it guys for now. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section.